So good morning. Hello, everybody out there. It's 11 o'clock. And as promised, we are going to start our webinar now. I hope you can hear us all well. Us is me. It's Ralf. <laughs> and uh, on my side, we have Jens. I will show him. Uh, I will show him to you now. That's Jens. Hello. And a warm welcome from my side as well. And uh, well, we really hope you can understand us well. Uh, we do have a chat tool. Uh, which we will use during um, the webinar. If you have any questions, please let us know. Please type your questions into the public chat tool, uh, and we will come to those questions just uh, after our presentation. We've prepared a presentation for you to show how our company, Reinecker Fernsehen, has uh, developed uh, its way to the cloud basically, and uh, has managed to do something we call hybrid production. Uh, it's not that we would have TV production only in the cloud. Of course, we do have uh, some um, apparel on premise, and we will get into detail during the next 45 minutes or so. And if you have a lot of questions, we will get back to them also. Well. So let's start with the presentation. We will disappear during that time and give you the chance to watch uh, the presentation really closely. As soon as everything is unclear, as I said, get into the chat, please. Well, here we go. So. So what did we do to get into the um, to get into the development of getting into the cloud. Let me start by telling you what was the old stuff. Uh, Reinecker Fernsehen is a, uh, is a TV company that's serving uh, about 2.4 million people in the area of Mannheim, Heidelberg, and Ludwigshafen in the southern, southwestern part of Germany. Uh, we are one of those classical regional station, maybe the oldest one in Germany. And uh, we've been there since 1986. So we did have very, you know, traditional workflows and a very conventional way of broadcasting since we had done that uh, from the very beginning on. So as you can see, uh, we used to have a you know, a big new studio. Uh, we did have a conventional control room uh, and we did have on premise uh, everything you need to run a 24 hour uh, rundown. Um, this is the Harris automation system we used to have. For the journalistic part, we relied on uh, the Avid iNews system and also had. Uh, avid editing suits to do our journalistic stuff. Then after a while, uh, we decided to take a new path. Um, after a while means in 2020, uh, we figured that we should do um, a step forward and come to video streaming reality, basically and wanted to be more flexible and more um, uh, more pointing into the future. So this basically is again in a scheme, the old setup, where we have in the center the big TV studio uh, from which I showed you the pictures. Um, the, the journalists and the cameramen, the camera people, used shared equipment like, you know, cameras, editing suits, everything. We had uh, the office management on servers, on premise, uh, the editing software, of course, in, in you know, traditional editing rooms, uh, the Avid iNews newsroom system, uh, and the playout system that was for the 24 hour uh, capacity from Harris. And of course, um, a big server for archiving our stuff. So it basically was a very static installation uh, in-house 
and we had partly the, the chance to uh, to get into this installation via VPN. So it was not so agile. It was not. It was not very um, transformative in a in a in in a positive way. So we started thinking, uh, especially Jens and I, um, how we could do something better. And I will pass over to Jens now that he can give you as the integrator, he can give you um, an overview of what ideas we had developed for a new workflow for Einecker Fernsehen. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, just a, a short note that, um, as you can see, these um, graphics, uh, with, that was just the, the beginning um, uh, thing of our workflow as we, we just split up all different aspects which things needs to be done um totally uh totally being free of uh, what is uh, right there at the moment what we could get new so this was a total uh, white paper when we started um, of uh, how to think about um uh, to work together and uh, to, that was uh, but a really really fast uh, uh, thing as we just sat together i think what of it was just one meeting uh, of, of, of a few hours uh, where the important uh, people were all together and uh, we scribbled around to um, see something like we have now on uh, on the screen so that we would need more flexible, more um, mobile uh, production equipment. So not these kind of, we have, uh, I don't know, three, four, five, six uh, big cameras, uh, but having everybody the chance to um, have its own equipment, uh, not only for filming, but also for editing. Um, and to be more flexible doing it from wherever you want. So that was one of the, the basic uh, basic ideas. And as we can see now in the next um, the next slide, uh, that the uh, that was what 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 I scribbled around and, and built around uh, the, the whole the whole issue. Um, so as you see and, and and as you already know, the the, the new structure needs to be flexible that uh, employees could decide uh, in which studio or even in which, which uh, physically room or wherever they want or need to work, uh, depending even on the new situation. So everything can be done uh, from mobile as well. Um, so that's why we moved all production services um, so far as we could into the cloud, uh, making it available to anybody, no matter where he or she decides to work. Um, even as I said, from mobile offices at home, which uh, gave everybody a big advantage uh, even through the pandemic uh, up to today that uh, was not planned but um, as, uh, it is, it's, uh, as we could see uh, that, that worked really really well um, as everybody had to work from home uh, for quite quite some time um, yeah for for general um, office collaboration tools uh, RNF uses uh, the G suite so it's, it's the Google online office suite um, also, Slack and uh, a Kanban board called Meister Task, um, which is very much like Trello or Asana. And uh, as you uh, can see, most of these tools are uh, also interchangeable to best suit your needs or whatever you may be all, also already using. And uh, we decided that uh, every journalist uh, should have uh, its uh, its own camera and editing setup. Um, so. Uh, we get rid of the central device disposition of cameras and edit suites. Um, and we wanted to give everybody the chance to use their, their favorite items. So the most important, the, the favorite editing solution. So not being um, hooked up to, let's say, uh, um, an avid um, cutter system. So everybody should choose whatever he, he likes to. Um, as long as the solution would output uh, an MP4 file uh, with 50 frames per second or at least 25, as that's our um, standard. So uh, everybody got a camera, laptop, tripod, microphone, and small light equipment, uh, very flexible, very small, and easy to carry around. Uh, even for more spontaneous news uh, events, uh, together with Ralph, we choose the Filmic Pro app on the iPhones. Um, and doing the editing as well on the iPhone or the iPad with uh, Luma Fusion. Um, and then just hooking up a microphone uh, with iRig handheld mics, for example, um, to get uh, voiceovers done uh, really in the field. 
and uh, to be able to um, to exchange video footage um, that should be available to everybody um, no matter where he sits or where he or she works uh, and we don't want it to have a specialized cost expensive mum system in where also uh, maybe technical knowledge uh, would be um, more important so uh, we just choose some terabytes of Nextcloud as an, as an open source tool for that so uh, whoever has any news footage to share or needs footage from somewhere else uh, everybody can access this uh, and download it from from this own Nextcloud space um, and as you see uh, we, we, we decided to, to have three smaller studios, uh, not one big one, uh, to, to get uh, a little bit more uh, closer to, to the action, which is uh, taking part. As this is a regional, um, regional aspect. Ralph will, uh, will tell you a bit about that later. Um, so um, everything is uh, really uh, connected on the public internet, um, even from studio to studio, but also from studio uh, via an SRT stream to the uh, 24 hour playout center. Um, this one, um, as I said, 24 hour needed. So um, uh, this is directly um, based uh, on um, uh, on the supplier who also delivers the TV signal uh, to uh, out to the public. Um, so everything is connected uh, or just over flexible uh, over uh, um, public internet, uh, which gives a lot of flexibility in from where the story should be done, um, as uh, this can be from anywhere of these studios, or even with a mobile kit, um, just at least you need to have um, fast internet for sure. Um, now the core to getting uh, everything together in, in the system up and running was um, the uh, tool for getting the, the, the rundown, the daily rundown for the daily shows. Um, as uh, RNF used iNews, Avid iNews system for the last decade, and everybody was, uh, was very happy with that. Um, but it was clearly unaffordable to, to go that route any further, uh, as there were too, too many costs of uh, updating uh, and, and even getting this system um, working uh, in the cloud as well. Uh, so, um, as I'm um, um, as, uh, as a small company of uh, doing uh, system integration and that was the part where I uh, jumped into and uh, came up with the tools Tinkerlist uh, which is a late weight but really powerful rundown system which is totally living on the cloud um, but has uh, the possibility to link uh, as well to a local infrastructure uh, with our open protocols we needed to um, to get deep into the uh, the local and fixed um, parts of, of the whole scheme. Um, so within the Stinkerlist platform, every uh, journalist can work together, same much as uh, on, the, um, uh, on the Google suite, so everybody can really work in real time together. And uh, when the radio story then is ready to broadcast, uh, the report simply upload the master file as well as all um, data or um, even uh, teleprompter texts uh, all into that system and can just simply drop uh, the master mp4 file generated from wherever he wants uh, into the browser and uh, then it's uploaded to the Tinkerlist platform and uh, yeah we can really honestly say that this is the heart of uh, all what we're doing uh, right now at RNF um, and that was the real game changer um, so uh, that's why it's it's a kind of um, but still leaves um, I come to that uh, uh, it's room for um, for physical on-premise things where needed as well and as I already said the uh, the 24 play out system because RNF is on air 24 uh, runs, di runs directly uh, supplier of the cable networks and uh, every bit uploaded also we are uh, internet uh, this play out as well as RT stream for for effects uh, called Kuhaut by a company in Pace, which is based in Berlin, Germany. Yeah, on the right you can see, last but not least, so the, the whole accounting um, has gone totally paperless. So all documents by paper mail will be scanned and put Evernote business. And uh, so that it really does um, even from uh, from working at home, everybody. Of, uh, and so then on the next slide, just. Uh, 
some some uh, terms of, uh, of of a setup because that was um, the 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 idea that um, from from being the old studio into a new studio we set up a temporary installation um, it was uh, just planned for for a few weeks but due to other situations now it's been for quite a long time uh, but still very well. Um, here is, it's, it's, it's really lean set made it all because many things are uh, are being in the cloud. Um, so at this uh, situation, um, just some monitors and only one uh, rack full of 24 um, head units of rack space. So that's all um, because it's just really the um, uh, Prepared a short video, which is without was it just a one the um, the um, Set uh, we made in the very early days. Later on, um, after the movie is now. Hey, back again from my online, where you can see actual uh, setup on the studio. Um, we connected it uh, for our art issues uh, machine. Uh, this is done via Qs, which is a companion tool for the list. Um, Q all needed media assets uh, and pushes them to system ready for play. And uh, as we needed two separate video feeds was to show on air, and the second one for background images and play in the studio of the anchor, uh, we simply set up this one vMix machine to handle both independently. Also changed the vision of Sony one uh, to a Blackmagic Atom. It's much easy and uh, via commands. So the vision mix so triggered actions out of the Qs app. So the the rundown of a daily show is simply a uh, pushing next, pushing next, pushing next, uh, and camera vision mix. Uh, to give you an idea of how long everything took, the whole project, um, really starting from scratch, was done uh, within just a few weeks. Um, getting all journalists uh, together uh, on Tinker, the Tinkerless platform and to, ready to use it uh, took only one week. And the setup on site was uh, really realized uh, just over one weekend, as uh, the last show in the old RNF studio uh, was on a Friday evening. Then uh, we started de rigging the uh, most important equipment and uh, started installation of the temporary studio during Saturday and Sunday. And then the first show uh, with the all new workflow, including everything, um, you know, then really on the next Monday evening. I'd note as all equipment uh, can be controlled via networking, TCP, and nearly everything is controllable anywhere. Being on site in Broadly Studio, being somewhere on or even right, as, uh, I'm doing some um, help for, for RNF, uh, so as to nearly everything run the show from. Yeah, with the um, handover. To um here i am back again and how how important it was for us as analysts i'm the well this is the of the rnf company but you know basically i'm i'm still in my heart i am wants to do regional I'm a very so my goal to get into a workflow that um give the uh, the chance to be do from the cities we are in and and that's why yen said um our was to have studios in this region where and we wanted to connect them. Unfortunately, last fall, the owner of the station, we couldn't get further into the development, but we made the major steps into the cloud to the new vice studio in Mannheim um, that that really gave, without made those steps, 
uh, wouldn't have made it. Uh, we uh, we are now broadcasting from this new environment uh, for um, six and after you know first difficulties you would always have in an IT. It really worked uh, at at you, you thought okay we come from the old casting environment into a new video streaming environment which is big big for a TV company and uh, it took us only a few weeks to do this advance. Uh, taught our learners how to use their cameras, how to use the editing machines, everything, um, how to get along with MPEG-4 video files. So then what is happening behind work, uh, which, well, and um, in the end, um, uh, to the core part that Jens mentioned, which is uh, the Tinker List. Um, this is a script, and I try uh, get uh, a shared screen for you, show you live uh, works for us. Here we go. So you should type Tinker List for RNF. Just click through a bit. This is you know, as the usual render. Uh, we do, you know, story at the beginning of you have some ads. Uh, then part where you have those those is of 30 seconds also read articles in a way uh and then you have an interview during the course of the show well that's that's basically what you can do in a news show of half an hour maybe and tinker list is that you can you can produce your 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 news show uh as easy as um providing a website with video that's explanation to that. Um, it has not so much to do uh, uh, with an old-fashioned newsroom. It's more like it and you, would, and you would provide the website with content. This tiny little video. You would jump to the video and you can click and you would uh, this nice little animal uh, down down the earth. <laughs> we we uh, had this video um, on the shelf, it was little animals. Uh, you would have the video in a as you the 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 red story in a column, and if you if you tell the thing like I do now, um, everyone in the remote offices in the studio in them wherever they are, they would see me typing as see, uh, people type in a Google document for it. It's really collaborative work on a TV show, um, and I had a nicest moment. I, my journalistic part um, at an OO uh, that went just I don't know maybe half of our TV show had started. Take some pictures with video, get them on the iPad, Luma Fusion, put it and upload the video from this red spot of my iPhone app within. Some and the, the the pictures of that e after this event. so I I could do stuff with almost you know not any gear you would have to do a TV production but a video journalist a a mobile journalist would you for doing and that I think is the major philosophy change your mindset from a TV to being a journalist. Uh, somebody who wants to gather in a very efficient and get the, to your viewers, to your users. Best. Um, the setup we've shown you has potential to be even faster. And that's uh, our key point, basically, for today. So let me get back to... And for us, I think, uh, 30 minutes and would not the time. Uh, just to room friends, um very thoroughly if you let me just yeah, check. as a question from uh, the video application and uh, to just really make make it clear and uh, there's no need um for a solution to stay avid i knew avid media composer into that so this is totally free as we're moving uh the next cloud systems or even on your hard drive or whatever 
um, and would use Tinkerlist for sending out the master uh, MP4. So absolutely linked um, or, uh, to any editing application. And so to rename it, um, everybody can. I think nobody really tried mo uh, Windows uh, at least. That uh, could be solution. Uh, a question: Why not use Casper CG for playout? Um, very easy. Um, it works. Technical issue, a real technical thing. The uh, the more important uh, decision to use Vista that um, if anything would break down, the whole it's much more easy and convenient. Just throw it into VMix um, from at least from a USB button, um, as it was not, not not the failure of the network. Story was so so um, so close to to, to this of the guys that was not that keen and not that fancy with uh, that moment. So he rushes into the studio, the studio and said, here's the video, here's the video. Uh, and yeah, and we just throw in the remix and play it out from the, the, the mm -hmm. user interface um, is a bit more user friendly. And the side story is that um, the, uh, the idea is there's three, um, three look at the all work on vmix as the production uh, system so that everything is the same and can do everything like everybody knows what you can mix on, but also do ISO recordings, whatever, uh, in that place. So let's. Um, okay, Dirk asked about the um, it's the part. Um, you could uh, throw anything into uh, the or at least anything for, 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 um, as a thing um, a lower file in the background. So uh, we decided as a general that was the only only we said okay this. Everything which is inside Ticklist should be not for everybody. So not having IT versions or uh, file versus six audio speeches and that um, to be as possible that every file which is which is uh, placed uh, into Ticklist should be just a so we can point out. So at least no about they through the rundown or just automatically downloading everything um, so that there is no need of, of versioning. As uh, um, on the next uh, uh, storage, um, it doesn't depend what from uh, there. Um, we just start to um, to make all journalists aware, not missions because file size, data rate, things, um, but to keep the journalists on a, we take this out. We even try to find um, like apps and, and, and try to find cameras really uh, record in, in a lower um, trade MP4. Please, there are so many apps in between and uh, in that way. Hello, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, read you at least. <laughs> Long time um, the compromise and do four files there, you know, um, data rank bit per second, uh, which is um, totally enough for for the news show and can be handled and can be highly uh, the workflow. And uh, as soon as we are talking uh, um, 5G connections, uh, you would never ever uh, about versioning or anything, but that was our, our um, one question of the financial impact of um, the setup is calculated um, studio thing that would be range of uh, loads like a hundred thousand euros uh, forms around the calculated three basis. So uh, we looked at it. we could you know hire on this and would have a break even point about ten years or so. Uh, in you would have to reinvent um, in in the you know um, in the technical development. Uh, so uh, I think we we feel quite with good with uh, having platforms that load that can um, perform and and uh, give us the features we need during the course of time instead of having one relation that will limit us next years. Okay, any more questions out there? Jens? Yeah. Yeah. But not maybe pointing to, uh, to the fact that um, as um, somebody could see it, a new system, which also can be uh, nowadays uh, working in the air, but the, 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 the first main fix costs and, and on-premise in setup and was much, much more than uh, with these tools, tool set we now um, developed or, or, or um, most of them are just uh, payable per seat per month, start then stop. Um, so even with a list, um, it's the amount per seat which is done. Um, and um, yeah, so maybe important to know that you can release one or two seats of working on the system, not having at least 100, 200, 300,000 euros, and then, then add ons. Very um, for also small teams, but uh, it's really impossible. 
And let me see what else is in the chat, maybe. New, I think. So if there yeah, are I mean, enough, at least oh, yeah yeah that exactly Ralph if there's any technical or journalistic uh, questions to contact us in any way uh, for me uh, yeah. I will show you last slide uh, that prepared <laughs> thank you and also has my email address on it and my Twitter account so if any of you has we'd be really happy to get your feedbacks and we would love to get back to you uh, what what we did today was basically, um, well, a kind of a more detailed one from a webinar we had at um, Skills of the EBU uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, which had not, you know, a very broad um, attendance. Um, and we thought we would uh, to the community um, like today. So um, if you spread the information, it's not our business. I think it's, it's um, thought how how you could do TV production on a, a technology basis, break up all those in the create, and that's and not so expensive, because we know that uh, especially regionally we have issues uh, in very often and new ideas, and basically what we wanted to do with today. There's another question in the chat now. No, okay, but if there's any technical. Um, um, I got my email address now in the public chat. Everybody can copy it from me. And um, yeah, just let you know any technical questions further on. I mean, it was just a fast run through um, and uh, drop me a mail to help you. Um, and as Ralph said, it's, um, it's, it's a chart of what you did a month, and um, nothing is exactly um, items we have not said. Um, it's a very, very cost-effective uh, and very productive way of working things. Very good. That's it. Okay. okay. Folks, uh, it was a pleasure having you. And um, yeah, let's see if uh, you want to give us some mails and uh, information on that. From my side, bye-bye, Jens. And same. Take care. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Maybe at the IBC. Would be happy.